What's happening to my player partners, man? It's your, it's, it's your partner, Damo the Spook. Here with another motherfucking slapper across your goddamn face, you feel me? And uh, I just wanted to drop this video for y'all, man, because I was going to go ghost mode, like, off of social media completely, like, off YouTube and stuff. But after what I just experienced in the gym, because this is my second time going to the gym, and this time I kind of just said, you know what? It's time for you to do the one thing that you did last time on your retention journey, which is have fun and not care about nobody but yourself. Which means literally be yourself, like your inner child at all time. And me personally, my inner child, I dance. I have a good time. I might be, hang on, I, 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 look, man, I do my shit. If you see me in the gym, you gonna see me. If, if, you, if you was a retainer and you in the gym with me, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be laughing and you're going to be low key hyping me up. And you're going to be doing the same shit that I'm doing just to piss them off even more, just like me. Because, like me, this is the one thing that you got to remember when you're on your retention journey. It's just life, period. As a man, you have to be in control over your emotions. You have to. The more you're in control over your emotions, that's when you're able to be the glitch, the walking glitch in the matrix, which is controlling other people by their emotions. And once you really stop caring, like I'm talking about really stop caring about what people thinking, saying about you, if the envy, just, like when you really in your bubble and you so damn focused on just enjoying life and embracing life and being appreciative of everything you have in life, bro, and you stop giving a fuck, you're going to see that those who matter don't mind and those who mind do not matter. I'm seriously speaking for real. Like, for real. Like, man, I'm telling you, stop caring. And you're going to see who don't give a fuck and who do give a fuck. I'm telling you, bro. It's easy as can be. I literally just saw, I literally just saw when I just, like, because I did this shit at work. I stopped giving a fuck and stopped caring. And then I started seeing that once I stopped caring and really started being, like, who I really am instead of being a little, like, a little isolated when I just started opening it up. Nigga, everybody fuck with me. Everybody. Now, you got some secret. You got some motherfuckers that secretly plotting on you and secretly want to get you out the way and, you know, secretly hating on your ass and they really just want to be your ass because they like, man, this nigga got, he got all of this energy. He working the same shift that I'm working and he going to work out after this shit and then he, like, how the fuck is he doing this shit? You know what I'm saying? So it's really like hate, but envy and ad admiration. It's a, it's a whole bunch of emotions in one. But what you got to remember is to not care. Like, don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Don't take anything personal. Don't make assumptions. Have an impeccable word. Stand, stand on your shit. Stand on your word. If you say some shit, stand on that shit. And you're going to increase respect and value within yourself. Fuck who don't respect and value. Nigga, you're going to increase that shit just off of who you are, who you truly are. I'm telling you. And that's what I realized, man. When I stopped caring, man, those who matter don't mind, and those those who mind don't matter, man. I'm serious about that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gonna see the woman that wanna fuck the shit out you and respect you. They gonna be looking at your dick print. They gonna be looking at you know your you know your your genetic makeup. They gonna look at your motherfucking your body. All of that shit. Like you become the man on this journey. And you know what come with being the man. That you're gonna become a man and you're gonna become the man. And what comes with that is hate, jealousy, envy, all of that, you know, fake ass hating shit. But what also comes with comes with that is success and love, prosperity, perseverance, salvation, mental toughness, a bigger mental capacity, better emotional intelligence, um, spiritual enlightenment, um, liberation. And this is all through overcoming adversity and test as a man and solving problems. You should love solving problems. You should love solving problems. You should invite problems in your life to solve them because that's how you're going to grow. And I want you all to remember this, man. You won't know who you are as a man until you fail and what you're made of. You either going to quit and fold and bend over like a bitch and get fucked by the world. Or you're going to whip your big ass dick out and fuck the world into that bitch come all on your motherfucking dick and screaming and creaming and motherfucking squirming and you getting her legs motherfucking shaking and you grabbing about a goddamn throat like this 
like this, you grabbing her by the throat while you fucking her from the back and you motherfucking you ramming her motherfucking guts in, rearranging her shit. Then you pulling her motherfucking hand, you curling her like this. You curling the world like this, like nigga, this is me. I'm dominant. Fuck is you talking about? Dominant. I'm the I'm the most dominant motherfucker you gonna ever fuck. Don't you forget this shit. And you whispering that shit in her ear, like bitch, don't you ever play with me. Ever. Ever. Don't you ever fucking play with me. I don't give a fuck who you fuck on. This is another experience. This is a the whole different experience. You fucking with me, bitch. You gonna know. You gonna be thinking about me while you fucking that nigga. Facts. You trying to fuck another nigga to get over me, bitch? Mm -mm. It ain't gonna work. Trust me. This dick hit totally different. But that's nothing my talking shit, though, man. I love you all, man. Shout out to you if you cultivate your energy. You dig what I'm saying, man? Keep that confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have complete faith in yourself. Supreme confidence. You know what I'm saying? Be a leader. Never a follower. Don't dim your life for nobody. You dig what I'm saying? Shine your motherfucking light. Your light bright. Don't give a fuck about nobody. Opinions. None of that shit. Because those who matter don't mind. And those who mind don't matter. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm down with a spook, man. I'm finna go get this smoothie from Smoothie King. And then I'm finna head my ass back to the crib. And chill out. Take my cold shower, you know. Fuck around and read The Alchemist or Atomic Bad Habits. Or I might read The Sacred Motherfucking Woman. Who knows? I might read The Five Love Languages. You know, I got, I got, I just, I was just looking, man. I got over 42 books now in my glossary. So I got plenty of books to read. I finished a couple, but yeah, man, I love you all. Peace.